Our weekend won't be a wash. I'll help you plan around the rain hour by hour. We have breaking news to tell you about. A four day manhunt for Alder Marine Sotelo is over. He was caught in southern Mexico around 1 o'clock this afternoon, and the FBI confirmed his capture less than two hours ago. I'm Chris Lovingood. And I'm Lena Tillet. Marine Sotelo escaped from the Piedmont Regional Jail in Farmville, Virginia on Sunday, and then he was captured more than 2,400 miles away in Guerrero, Mexico. WRAL's Chelsea Donovan has been working her sources to learn more about the capture and the next steps. Chelsea, big news for the FBI today. Absolutely. As you can imagine, all week long, the FBI and the U.S. Marshals have been working around the clock in this manhunt. You'll remember that this week they were offering a $70,000 reward for his capture and conviction. Maureen Sotelo is one of the brothers charged in the murder of Wake County Deputy Ned Bird. He was shot and killed last August in Wake County, and I had the opportunity this afternoon to speak very briefly to Ned Bird's sister reacting to this news, and she simply said that she is grateful that he was caught. Now, check out this poster released this afternoon by the FBI. Big red capture letters across it. Alder Marine Sotelo captured four and a half days after he escaped a jail in Farmville, Virginia. The FBI says he was taken into custody by Mexican authorities this afternoon, 1 p.m., just a few hours ago. He was found in Guerrero, Mexico, the very southern tip of Mexico. Now, you'll recall he was previously being housed at the Piedmont Regional Jail in Farmville, Virginia. Early Sunday morning, authorities say he broke open the lock in the dormitory he was staying at. He exited a left rear door, hopped a barbed wire fence, and then he had a getaway car, a Ford Mustang waiting for him, according to the FBI. Now, we know his sister this week was charged aiding in that escape by allegedly purchasing that getaway car in High Point and leaving it right there in the jail parking lot for Marine Sotelo. Now, since his escape early Sunday, the FBI, you U.S. Marshals and local authorities have been assisting in this massive manhunt. I spoke with a former FBI agent today who shed some light, giving his opinion on how this man wanted for murdering a deputy could be captured. The way this case gets solved is one of two ways. One is the connections to people that could help them and camping out on those people. And I mean camping out, I mean just monitoring their communications and their contacts and that sort of thing. The other is the public general public tip, tips and leads, which 80% of the time will catch fugitives. Now, he added that over the past two days, FBI agents and the U.S. Marshals were likely honing in on Marine Sotelo's network, his friends, his family, perhaps monitoring their phones, social media and credit cards. We should mention, though, that the FBI is still looking for that getaway car. It's a 2003 Burgundy Mustang that he was believed to be driving. Now, as you can imagine, this is all uh, imagine rather this is all unfolding very quickly. The FBI say says right now that the investigation is still ongoing to determine his his exact movements from Farmville, Virginia to the very tip of Mexico. That's 2,400 miles. So this case, of course, right now is far from over. But at this hour, we can confirm that Alder Marine Sotelo captured this afternoon in southern Mexico. Lena. Just an extraordinary development. You have to imagine a lot of coordination as well between U.S. and Mexican officials. Chelsea Donovan reporting live for us in Raleigh. Thank you. And WRAL is staying on top of this breaking news throughout this newscast and online. We'll bring you new information on Marine Sotelo's possible extradition when we learn it. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center. In less than 25 minutes from now, the CEO of the 